the 7th of July 2017, 122 countries voted in favour of the Treaty on the Prohibition of Nuclear Weapons. Something new is happening. Um, we stood up to some of the most powerful, most heavily militarised countries on this planet and did something that they were forbidding us to do. The focus changed from tools of security and stability to human beings are destroyed. Si estamos hablando de seres humanos que en su experiencia humana, en esta vida, han conocido los horrores de lo que estamos tratando de solucionar. After all, it's the people who suffer, and this has been forgotten in that debate. Yeah, no one's saying that chemical or biological weapons are okay for certain countries, but not others. And Now, we today have a massive body of evidence that a nuclear war would simp simply not only not be winnable, it would likely destroy life on Earth as we know it today. Even a much more limited nuclear war, one that might involve other nuclear powers like India and Pakistan, would in fact be a threat to the entire world. The ability to, you know, kill massive amounts of people and uh, inflict suffering and pain on, on civilians is not a sign of power and prestige. It's what dictators do, it's what uh, human rights violators do, not respectable countries that want to have a good standing in the international community. One day, the nuclear age will be confined to our memory like a bad dream that arose in a moment of fear and destruction. We Hibachia had been waiting for the ban for 72 years. Let this be the beginning of the end of nuclear weapons. <laughs>